Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal, Impossible I'm here. Today, we're checking out a game called The Little Big Workshop. I just got this from the Humble Choice subscription, and I was so excited about this game because I, wa I really wanted to play it when it came out. They didn't send me a key, and I'm way too poor to actually, you know, go out and buy everything at full price. I'm sorry, I'm poor as... I'm a bum for a reason, all right? I'm a bum in real life. That's just how it works. Anyway, I got this game today. It's, it's a... Uh, base building automation toy making with gnomes game it's just like it, it, it's cute it's adorable let's hop into it we're gonna make a factory here this is gonna be my first impression to the game it is uh you know i've seen it a little bit here but i've never played it so let's see here where, what are we gonna call this um uh impossible factory there that is officially our name let's do that let's see what's gonna happen here all right we get a loading screen nothing too weird there Press key to continue. All right, Mirage game. What what you got for us here? Little big workshop. So what I know about this game is basically you're playing as gnomes, like living on some guy's table, and you make toys. It's kind of weird in a way, but it's also you know, you know, cute and cool, and it does automation stuff. Base building automation stuff, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I can't help myself. I can move around a right mouse button or WSAD. There we go. That's uh, pretty standard. Can I click the phone here? There we go. Uh, hello there. Just open up a new shop close to your factory. You can see as you're new here. Uh, maybe we could help each other out. Get yourself a workbench and take a look around. I'll call you again in a bit. All right. Purchase your first workstation from the shop. All right. I guess we have to do that here. And uh, we have to make a workstation. And uh, basically, we, we have to decide where all this stuff is going to go ourselves. You know, th we don't have to listen to what they say. How do I rotate this? The R key, of course, it's the R key that makes the most sense. Uh, you know, I, I like there. Do it right there. We uh, we lost some Zen or feng, uh, feng Shui from putting it there, apparently. Let's go ahead and hit order here. There we go. Order to workstation. It takes a while to deliver it and install it, apparently. And uh, my... my uh, Neighbors decide to drive by with the loudest car in the history of the universe. Uh, sorry about that. Let's speed it up. Let's get this thing built. I, I like that they have, you know, speed up speed here. There we go. We got it built. Now what? Oh, he's calling again. Does he have an order for us? Oh, you got yourself a workbench, I see. My stock of gardening gnomes are getting pretty low. Can you make me a couple? I'm, I'm guessing. Let's plan a product for how to make wooden gnomes. All right. Let's do it. Uh, this is the planning model. Here you can design and preview how each of your products will be created. Got gotcha, you, buddy. Square-shaped nodes like these are products or parts. These can be anything from small wood planks to complex uh, subset. Oh, excuse me. I'm not even sure what that was. It was just like a weird excursion of air. It was, it was like a hiccup burp, like all into one where like nothing happened. I, uh, it's probably way too much information. <laughs> Let's keep going. I got it. Uh, Circle-shaped notes like these are, are operations. They are actions required by your workers. Uh, perform, not required. On uh, different kinds of workstations. All right, so this is the materials you need. These are the actions that need to take place. And this is the final product based on your current plan. We're going to get a carved wood gnome. Operation uh, nodes need a workstation to carry them out. Okay, can I, can I say who does it? Do I just hit next? Do I, do I get to assign a workstation? I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Detail simple. Link operation to workstation. Do I do that? All right, I can link this one. There we go. I had to right click it. I didn't see that anywhere. I'm sure it was somewhere on the screen and people are going to tell me in the comments, hey, you need to read. And I'm going to tell them I didn't learn how to read. You feel bad now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, put your plan into action. We're going to go ahead and execute this. And uh, I think our little people is going to go around doing stuff. The materials needed for your project are on the way. So let's go ahead and speed it up. Wait till they get here. All right. It looks like they're de they're uh, delivering them. Oh, oh I want to watch the little guy make stuff. Are we just making one? Uh, designate a storage area for your materials. Uh, okay. Well, this is kind of like where things are going to come and go. So I was just like, hold on. Oh, no, no. That's not where I wanted it. Zone. I want you to do like there. Can I, can I make it bigger? There we go. That'll be our output zone. Keep track of your progress here. So uh, we're making things. And it automatically set what zone that was, I think. I didn't tell it that, but it kind of did. So all right, we're just going to go with that for now. 
Uh, use the controls to speed up time. You're going to speed it up until we get this thing done. And I imagine after that, we'll, uh, we'll get another contract or we'll ship it out or something. Something important will happen. I'm pretty sure of that. And maybe they'll let us uh, unlock other aspects of the game. All right, deliver your finished products. Okay, let's go ahead and deliver it. A truck is en route. I guess they're going to come here and pick it up. Come get our stuff. We got lots of wooden gnomes here. We only have three wooden gnomes. That's not very much. I'll be honest with you guys. All right, come back up my stuff. I'm like, he's like stopped right there, and all of a sudden he was going so fast. All right, pick it up. All right, let's load him up really fast. Yeah, we're working, working at uh, Christmas Elf speed. There we go. I just got the shipment of carved wood gnomes. They look amazing. People are already uh, eyeing them as they were getting unloaded. I hope we can keep up this partnership. Uh, I hope we can keep this partnership running. Payment received, 3,150. Gained experience, 3,300. All right. Access your economy summary to make sure you made money. Did we make money? After this introduction, workers will start to charge you for their time. All right, so we, we made money... Uh, simply because the workers didn't uh, ask us for any money. <laughs> so that, that was nice of them. Uh, we only made 657 because the uh, utilities and rent and stuff, or products, was it? I think it's just, yeah, just new inventory. It wasn't even rent is what cost us money there. All right, I'll close that. And uh, I, I guess I can close that. And uh, we got a new call. Is it the mayor? It's the red phone. It's for emergencies, right? Like, you do that Batman thing. It's the bat phone. Actually, isn't the president's phone red? It's like the war phone, uh, war phone or something. I don't know. I might be making that up. Uh, hi again. The new, the uh, new gnomes are in the back. I can't even speak. The new gnomes are a hit, and I want to put up more of them for sale. Can you make more uh, some shelves I can use for that? Okay, so we have to make shelves now. I guess we're gonna learn how to plan shelves. It sounds exciting. Uh, design and attributes. Attributes to find a quality of your product. So basically, you have a minimum range you have to hit. You have to make it, you know, at least, you know, this good or that. Uh, this, uh, this contract has attribute requirements. So it has to be uh, at least two strength and ten whatever that is. Yellowness. It needs to be ten on the yellow scale. <laughs> whatever that means. Uh, so it needs ten style points. Okay, this is strength. Or durability, and this is style. I kind of like the idea of it having just yellow points. This is all there was to it. Uh, attributes are determined by the parts and materials used. So we have to we have a choice here. Let's just use whatever this one is because it has more style. Uh, choices with red background are impossible to match your requirements with your current setups. Either make other selections elsewhere in the plan to make this selection possible, or choose something with a clear background. Well, can we? Oh, well, if I choose this, can I make this different? No, that doesn't help. All right, what if I do stuff here? Okay, I, I think we just I think we just have to use the good stuff here. Where where is the good stuff at? Did I did I did I ruin everything? Why can't I pick good things now? I thought I could pick good things before. Select the material. These are red though. We need All right, hold on. We do that. Can I do this? How how do we get the good stuff? We do that. Uh can I do something here? Wood rod. We only have much choices with wood rods. Uh, can I do something here? Can I make this more better? Uh, choose an operation type. I, I guess we're going to do whatever this is. All right, so we can do that. Uh, I guess that did good stuff. We hit the requirements. Uh, our current is 3 to 4 and 11 to 12. I think that's actually already good. Purchase a workstation that can perform this action. What is this? Assemb oh, so I need an assembly station. Uh, all right, let's, head, let's go ahead and... Uh, Save this. I don't want to execute it. Can I just save it? Is that a possibility? Is there like a save button? No, I don't think that's exactly how that works. Uh, get the required workstation. Oh, I can just click here. Okay, we need we need an assembly station. All right, for now, I'm going to put the assembly station over here. Just for now, this is not like a long-term thing. I'm going to spin this thing around so I feel better about things. Because he's going to need to put stuff in there anyway. And I think like the more things you have in one room, the more angry they get or more overworked they get. Let me go ahead and order that. I already sped up time thinking it was already set up. All right, let's get this. As soon as this is set up, I'm going to plan the product. All right, let's, all right, it's set up already. Let's plan the product again. I think we're good. I just have to link this operation to a workstation. Which I thought we just left uh, right click, but apparently you left click it, and uh, I think I think that's everything. I, th I think we just have to hit execute now, right? Uh, go ahead and execute stuff. Do I not have everything planned? Follow the checklist to complete the plan and approve it. I thought I thought I did. Uh, choose materials. Did I not choose? I thought I did already. Uh, I chose. Well, can I choose that? And you have. Oh, I have to set where everything happens. Okay. And uh, let me see. We're gonna do. Wood plank, I think I don't have a choice in. 
This one, I, I I guess I just have to do everything there, essentially. Can I set you? Yeah, you, you're going to do everything. It is the most overworked wood station in the universe. Uh, we have everything planned. We're all set. And uh, I think that's just it. Let's just execute it. This workstation is going to be overworked for sure. Let's uh, turn it around so we can watch them working here. Complete the contract and deliver the products. Fair enough. We're going to get them delivered. Oh, whoa, who's this guy? One of your workers ran out of energy and collapsed. Let me put the speed back to normal here. All right, got it. Can we build a break room or something? Break rooms let workers recover faster. We should probably do that. How do we do the break room thing? This room over here is not even being used. So we can do something there. Uh, break uh, the coffee maker 2000 will fill all your caffeine needs. Let me throw this down. Shouldn't I make like a place for them though? Uh, shop item placement. Choose the place to select the shop item. You shift and click to place several of them. Maybe, maybe it'll have... The break room will have like two coffee makers. I think this one is fine for now. We are just getting started. And uh, a Venditron. Well, I don't even sure what else we're supposed to do here. Can we just do like basic things? Can we, can we, is there like a couch or something? Or a chair? A chessboard is something, I guess. Do we have to do all these things? So what else do they need? They, they need coffee. This is going to give them coffee. I don't want to spend all my money. And I don't know how many of these things I really need. I just give them like a, a television. Why don't you guys watch TV and just be drones for me? There we go. Hopefully that's everything they need. Uh, can I place the zone? Zones cannot be placed outside. Well, I wanted this to be the zone right here. Uh, can I say what kind of zone it is? Hold on. Can, can, can let me click off that? It's not, it's not being very nice to me. Can I can I not just say this is a zone and make this so go over to here? We can move it back a little bit. We make that a zone. All right. Can we see what kind of zone it is? A uh, zone. Oh my god. I don't know what all this is. This is different stuff. I'm scared. I'm gonna exit out on that. Uh, I don't think. Okay, I don't think I can set this as the the thing I wanted it to be. So let's get rid of that. I'm just going to put those things there. Uh, place more items in your break room to increase the break room recovery rate. All right, well, I'm, I guess I'm just going to do that. I'm, they want me to place more items? I'll place more items. I don't know if there's like a limit. I'm going I'm to go with like as the cheapest things I can find here. You can get a break table. That seems like a good thing for a break room. Uh, I guess I'll shove you like right there. It seems like a good thing for people to have, right? Uh, accept the order. You're satisfied with your break room. Okay, so it'll let me stop right there. That seems fair. A TV, coffee, and a break table. I mean, much more than that, and you're getting spoiled, I think. You're not really working at that point. You're just, like, going to the spa. <laughs> Complete the contract and deliver the products. Okay, let me let me triple time it, this this one here. He's going to unload all our stuff here. They're bringing in our, our goodies here. And uh, our little guy over here is going to be working his little buns off. He has, like, everything we're making, we're making right here. Which is not efficient at all. But to be honest with you, it's not like we have many workers anyway. So it's not like we can even have other workers working at different tables. We're just not there yet. We're not at max efficiency. And hopefully we'll get this done in time. I don't know how much time we have left compared to how much we've done. But it doesn't feel like very much. And this little guy, I mean, it takes, like, two seconds to assemble them. And, like, you know like an hour for this guy to actually do something with him. Yeah, it's like, it is not exactly even, but hopefully we'll get them done in time. I hopes. Are we almost done? We're at 93%. I'm going to pause it as soon as it's done. There we go. Let's let's, let's pause it. We're going to do deliver. This guy's hanging out in the break room. Hopefully he's happy. I, I paid a lot of money for all that stuff. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they make good on it. Pick up at, I, I guess it's just auto. Why not? Deliver. There we go. Truck is en route. Let's go ahead and speed it up. We'll get this thing loaded up uber fast. I love it when these guys are in high speed mode. They look kind of crazy. It's kind of fun. All right. I just got the shipment of shelves. Uh, eight, I don't know what 8DM is. Whatever. They look amazing. People are already eyeing them as they get unloaded. Hoping to keep up this partnership. And they gave us money. So on and so forth. All right. Well, it's... Uh, can I look at my economy stuff again? Where was that? Economy statistics? Uh, we lost money. We lost money by a lot. I think that's because we bought all that coffee stuff, though. We did get decent money from this, I think. Let's close that. Let's head over here. Let's answer the phone before it drives us all crazy. Uh, gnomes and shelves, I reckon that I'm set for a while. I'll get back to you later if something new comes up. Meanwhile, you should check the market. There are lots of other folks around here. It needs all kinds of supplies. Laters. All right, so now we're going to have to look at the market. 
They're no longer spoon feeding us jobs. We're gonna have to figure out things on our own. So let's see what's going on here. This is a general market. Products here are requested continuously and you can use them as a stable source of income. All right, uh, choose an appropriate market uh, offer. I guess it really wants us to choose the bucket here. A uh, sandbox kit, small play kit with shovel and bucket. Good for teaching uh, engineering skills to children at a young age. Uh, okay, so what is this one here? Whatever this is, you know, demand is uh, low, I assume. Yeah, it looks like demand is low. I don't think I want to do that one. These tags give you a rough idea of what kind of product that is required. Uh, this shows the current price and demand of the product. So the price is about maybe a little bit higher than average, but the demand is super low. Uh, these are attributes you must surpass to get your production to be accepted. All right. Overall, this product isn't very suitable. It's got a low demand, average price, and it requires a plastic workstation that you do not own. All right. So I already knew it wasn't a good one. They at least, uh, you know, didn't force us to make something that was bad for us. Uh, this product is quite simple to produce, has a high demand, and the pay is decent. A much better object uh, option than the previous one. A doggo house. Yeah, this one's the demand is high, and it uh, looks like it's on its way up. A quaint little cottage for your favorite doggos and their tiny puppers. All right, let's. Uh, can we plan it? Let's go ahead and plan it. What do we need to do for the doggo house? Operation not set. Uh, we have to hit a minimum of one in four, so we can make this as cheaply as possible. So I'm going to go this one, because that's as cheap as we can get it. Uh, raw wood. How can I make you cheaper? One three, is that cheapest? Yeah, one three there is cheapest. And like I said, we we only have to surpass these ones on the right. The left is where we currently are. We can try to make these like as cheap as possible. Can I not click these? A straight cut. I guess I just have to assign where these are getting done. Detail simple. Go ahead and sign that right there. I, I thought I'd be able to change like... What is this one? Okay, there. I get to choose which one. This. Oh, wait. That's, that's not what I was looking for. What is this one here? Top decoration. I don't seem to be able to do anything with that. Let's go here. Assembly. The assembly just means I just have to click on the assembly station. And that'll be the doggo house. We're going to have a two and four uh, attributes here, which is kind of better than we need. Set target mount to seven products. Okay. There we go. That's how many they need to make, apparently. I don't know why it's that arbitrary number, but we'll we'll do that arbitrary number. Let's go ahead and execute. Inspect your workstation by right-clicking on it. Uh, this job is going to take a really long time to finish, apparently. All right, so they want us to make more of them. Uh, order another assembly station. I am all about that. Let's do that. Let's, let's get this thing turned around. Can we get these things in a way where they will both fit here? I don't think there's a good way to do that. Uh, I do have a way, though, so let's... Oh, I keep keep twisting on accident here. Let's do something like that. You'll twist there. And can I pick this one up and move it? Can I can I rearrange it? Yeah, that's what, that's what I want to do. Let's, let's have them, like, face away from each other. And let's turn the screen so we can see what we're doing. Let's do something like that. There we go. They uh, they don't like the, the feng shui of the area when I do that. But you know what? Stuff happens. All right, so uh, hopefully that'll get up soon. I'm going to... Speed up things here so it actually happen the way I want them to happen here. Are we going to be making stuff now? I should probably assign things to be split between these two uh, assemblers. That makes a lot of sense. You also need to hire more workers. Oh, I should probably slow things down. I should probably read what they're saying here. Oh, let me say hire one operator. All right, I'll hire an operator and we'll recruit them for 150 bucks a day. Holy cow, they're expensive. They're so expensive. All right, complete the project. So I think now all we have to do, well, first we can close that so I don't have to look at it. And uh, I think now everything's going to happen. Hopefully they'll get a guy here soon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I never ordered it. I meant to order it like an hour ago. Oh my God, it's a good thing I didn't have time sped up. All right, complete the project. That's all we have to do. Uh, we got a table in here shortly. Hopefully they're going to deliver it. Is that it? There we go. There's our table. And now we just have to sit here and let them uh, put this thing together. I don't know if they'll use both tables. I'm sorry, you guys probably see a cut right here. The world's loudest truck went by. I didn't want to put you guys through that. Uh, let me see. We got a phone call. We're not done making stuff yet, but somebody's calling. It's a disaster. The gnomes you made for me have already sold out. I need more now. I'll pay you anything. Oh, that's uh, those are words I could like to hear. So let's plan uh, a product for these gnomes here. And uh, target. Can I, can I see the target? It doesn't even matter how many I, I the target apparently doesn't matter. I just have to make can I make these as cheaply as possible? Is there anything else I could do? 
I guess we'll just assign that there. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any way to uh, downgrade this, and it doesn't matter how good it is. So, uh, I guess we'll just do this. We'll add that to the queue. This product needs to be prioritized. Hover over the tracker and click the priority button. Uh, move project to priority. There we go. All right. Now we have to complete both projects. Uh, truck is landed at the loading bay, but I don't care. I'm going to go ahead and speed things forward. It looks like that person burnt themselves out a little bit. They're going to go watch TV and have some coffee. I haven't been having coffee very much lately. I kind of... I kind of gave it up for a little bit, and now I'm kind of ungiving it up. It's a coffee. Coffee, I have a mixed relationship with it. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not so much. Uh, sometimes it gives me, like, horrible anxiety and, like, stomach aches, and it's like, eh, there's, there's nothing good. Nothing good about it. And then at the other times, you know, it kind of picks me up, and it tastes good. I can't help it. Coffee, why is coffee I got to taste good? If it tasted bad, I wouldn't have to drink it so much. Looks like we're way ahead of schedule on that. There we go. Let's, let me slow it down here. The guy was going way too fast. Hopefully that's in route. All right, I guess we can speed up again. I think he'll call me and say, hey, I got your stuff in just a moment. Uh, we got to keep working on this other one. All right, let's, let's slow it down see what he says here. I just got your shipment of carved wood gnome. They look amazing. People are already uh, eyeing them as they unload. He, he says the same thing every time. I hope we can keep the partnership running, and he gives us monies. I like monies. I don't know what I do with uh, my experience, but we'll find out here, I guess. You can switch and see different clients with these tabs. Is that what the experience does? It like makes them like me more, maybe? As you build reputation with a customer, they will become more friendly and pay better and request production from you more often. All right, so we're becoming uh, friends with Crazy Steve here. And, uh, he's apparently cheap. Apparently. And crazy. All right, well, you know, it sounds good to me. He seems like a nice enough guy. Uh, okay, can I hit, like, OK or something here? Uh, I just said X there. There we go. We just have to uh, complete this other contract. I'll speed it up a little here. We don't have to, we don't have to wait for it. It should be done assembling hopefully soon. Are they not using both, both assemblers? Uh, they might not be. I, I, I feel like I should have, but I may not have told them to do that. These products are ready to be sold to the general market, open to, uh, to offer. All right, let's go ahead and deliver doggo houses. OK, sure. Uh, complete some products to sell here. I already did that. Truck is en route. I think we just have to wait. What is this one? This one will unlock as the tutorial progresses. Okay. So we have to wait on whatever that thingy is. Where's the, uh... I think I was going to let it go. Inspect your workstation or right-clicking it. This thing needs to be repaired pretty bad to uh, fix itself. Uh, view your career goals and progress here. So I guess we're going to be able to spend our EXP or something. Uh, graduate from the in-game tutorial. We got a little... Seal here, and we it's got a little ribbon. We got a ribbon, guys. That is how good we are. Uh, the help section contains more detailed information about how to play the game. Okay. Hopefully I won't need that. God knows I don't like having to read. Uh, bronze milestones. Deliver more than 100 products. I'm not even close. Complete at least three client challenges. Yeah, I'm not even close to that either. We haven't done any of this. We're, you know, we're not even close to these things. Anyway, we're wasting time here. Let me pause. Let's look at a market. We have literally nothing going on right now. Where's the market at? Is it over? Where is it at? Market right here. Let's look for good things. This offer is expiring for the market, so make sure you sell off any product on it before it goes. Oh, yeah, it's, it's fine. I don't need, uh, I don't have any of these anyway. There's challenges for things? Apparently not for us. Okay. What's the smiley faces on these mean? Does that mean they're good or, or what? Uh, let me see. This one, demand is going up, but price is going down. This one, double O quack. Well, these are the exact same thing. I don't really understand. Uh, what's this one? This one, it looks like it's slowly back on the rise, but not really worthwhile to do. Small shelf seems like a middle of the road. It might be okay. The uh, demand is dipping, so I'm not, I'm not sure how far that trend is going to continue. It's a, a little worrisome. I'm trying to see anything that looks you know, obviously good here. This is brand new, I think, so we don't know yet. This one is horrible. Do not make pitchforks. Or shovels. Or whack-a-pins. Or buckets. Or small drawers. Or bar stools. We don't have any info on these at all. Or scarecrows. We don't have anything good here at all. Uh, was there any, like, decent ones? Like, maybe weren't great, but, like, okay? I'm just, I'm just not, maybe that we're, we're going to do a duck, maybe. This one looks middling. The uh, demand is going up, so maybe the price will go up. I really don't know. Let's plan a product. We need, oh, we need stuff we don't have. 
We need the uh, mold with uh, we need a painter thing and the mold plastic. We do not have injection molding right now. Injection, can we order a thing? Yeah, that's we're gonna need plastic for something. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully, uh, this will be okay. We got an injection molder thing here. We'll put it right next to the workstation because why not? There we go. We'll do that. And I'll go ahead and order it before I forget while well, it gets uh, stuff going again. We have a trucking route to do stuff. I don't know if we're going to get some kind of kudos or something when that officially goes off. Who knows? Let's go back to the market. Uh, we were building this duck. I think we we're building this duck. Let's go back to this. Hopefully we can set this to a workstation. Yeah, we set it to that one. Uh, can I plastic pellets? We have to hit 3 and 7. It's literally already on 3 and 7. I don't think the colors even really matter. Uh, so I guess the only thing the colors change is what color the uh, duck is going to be. And we're going to have a teal duck because I want a teal duck. That's all there is to it. Rubber duck unpainted. We have to paint it. Do we, have to, we have to get a painting station. So this may not have been the greatest thing for me to do because I don't really have money to do all these things. But, uh, you know, money... Uh, Grows on trees. Yep, you heard it here, folks. Money grows on trees. We have nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Nothing bad could possibly happen. Uh, get decorations for your rooms to make the workers more efficient. All right, so this is how we can make people a little happier. Uh, by apparently just shoving their workspace in, uh, full of uh, crap, apparently. Uh, we get some uh, dwarf palms, a carny plant. I don't know how, how much. Uh, what's my negative account on this room? I don't. Can I click it and see the stats? I don't know. Uh, where was I look? Where was I even looking at here? Where, where's the break room? Oh, this is the stuff I was looking at. Let's give him a cactus because everyone likes getting poked in the butt by cactuses. Let's make sure it's right behind him. Okay, so we are at a fairly big negative here, so we might need a couple of plants. And I don't like where I placed that at all. If I'm being honest. We have all sorts of room over here. Let's just like shove a couple like a couple plants over that way. I'll throw. I still want a cactus because I want people to just walk into it accidentally. That's a perfect place to have a cactus. All right, so now we're at mood four, so we're net positive. I'm happy with that. We don't have to go crazy with it. Let's go ahead and hit the order button, and they'll do that for us. Hopefully, we have a thing here. We haven't done research and development yet. Let's see what this does. Uh, this section is used to upgrade and improve your factory. Each upgrade may cost you varying amounts of upgrade points. They are earned by delivering contracts or by completing challenges and milestones. Simply point on an upgrade to read more about it and simply click if you'd like to purchase it. All right, so it's like skill points. You know, it's, it's not really a big... Big a deal. Improve your logistics by using special zones to your factory. I might do that because I wanted to do that earlier. What is this one? Billboards are used to link work workstations together. This allows you to control and assign jobs to them as a group rather than individually. I like this a lot. I want to do a billboard. Can I get that? Did I do it? Unlocks billboard. What do I? What do I do? Get this improvement. I want to get it. Get it. There we go. I, I had to click it again. All right. So how do I build a billboard? I'm not sure. But it seems important for us to have. Let me hit escape to get out of here. I want to link these together because they're the same thing, essentially. So basically sending it to the billboard instead of, you know, uh, individual things would be nice. I guess it, it'll be here, maybe. Billboard, there we go. Can we shove this in there? Yeah, throw that there. We're going to go ahead and hit order. And I'm going to link it to these so they both essentially will do all the same job, hopefully. If I'm correct. I, that guy said he was upset, and I, I ordered mood stuff. He's not allowed to be upset. No, it's not. It's, it's just arriving now, so maybe they'll be happier in a moment. Hopefully, this stuff will arrive soon. Yeah, get that built. Okay, now that it's built, let's do this, and let's actually set up... I was going to set up an order for something, and I think I forgot to do that. Hold on, let's... Uh, let me go to other things. Let me go to the plan again. What's I going to do something here? Market. Plan product. Uh, painter. Can I set you? Yeah, Painter is over there, so I'm going to link you to that. Uh, molder. I only have one molder, so you got to go there. Do we have an assembly guy or anything? Is this everything? I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and execute this. Uh, it's going to cost me however much money. I don't know. Does it actually say anywhere? I, I should actually say how many I need to make, too. Um, I have to make a fair bit of them, right? I don't know. Let's make, like, 20 of them. How much money is that? Uh, materials, 240. Salaries... All right, it's not going to be that much. We're actually going to make a decent profit by doing that. Let me going to make 25, 
Hopefully that won't break the bank by us doing that and keep our guys busy for a while. Uh, you may change the amount of workers that should work in your loading bays by right-clicking on a loading bay. All right. Well, is that all you're doing there is working at the loading bay? All right. Well, that's fine. Um, I think I think everything's fine the way it is, if I'm being honest. Is this thing fixed up enough? It doesn't have anything wrong with it. What, what are you doing here? He seems to just be doing stuff. He's doing his mold thing. Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Let's get our duckies built. We should probably change things eventually where we we can set up, okay, this is where out, outgoing things are going. This is where ingoing things or materials are being made. But we're just not there yet. We just got the billet, billeting the board here. Is that really, even what this is called? Oh, it's a billboard, not billeting board. So you don't even know what I'm talking about. Can we link this now? Let's link. I want you to link to there and there. All right, you're officially linked. Okay, good. It's waiting for task. They're officially linked. We just don't have anything for them yet. But we have two assembly stations if we ever do need it, and our guys will be able to work at both at the same time. So that makes me happy. But right now we're just busy making ducks. I don't I don't know how long this duck making is gonna go. Can we go fast forward it even more? We don't have very many ducks made, if I'm being honest. Maybe maybe I should have made If we have something that'll take this workbench and assembly, we can make something else at the same time, I think. No, we don't actually have enough workers for that. We would need one more worker, I think. At least. But I think we could do that. Hold on, let me let me pause this. Let me let me think a rate on this. I think we just need a uh, a doer of things. We don't need a loader. We need one of these guys. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, let's get one of these guys, an operator, I guess. I, I think just one loader is fine. Uh, which means I actually need two of these people, but that's fine. Two of those. And uh, the one, one guy's a loader. The other uh, four guys are the ones that run around doing everything. Loaders, uh, loaders are cheap apparently, which is fine with me. And uh, let's let's get out of there. Uh, all right, so we have that going. So I basically I can do something used as a workstation and assemblers and get them both done at the same time. That is the plan. Uh, obstructions call workers to walk and slower in the workshop. Are, are, do we have obstructions? I don't. I mean, maybe this is considered an obstruction. We could try to do something about that. Let's look at the market again. I want to get something else made. Something that uses wood. Or it's just something that uses this workstation over here. And uh, I don't know if there's anything good. Do any of these have data yet for us? I don't think there's been enough time. All right, let's... I just definitely... This actually doesn't seem so bad. We could do this. It's 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 something I think we could do, and it wouldn't be bad. It's kind of middling, which I'm okay with right now. Demand is 42 units. So let's go ahead and do this. Operation not set. Um... I guess this is the only way we can do it. We have to use this support. 6, 8, 3 to 10. I don't know. I don't know which one. Which one? That's injection molding. This is something else. I think this will use the uh, workshop bench, so I'm okay with that. I could be wrong. Operation not set. We'll use whatever this is. A metal curved rod. I don't care. Just And now, oh my god, this thing keeps moving. Raw metal. Ugh. Uh, there. And now I have to link you to a thing. Oh god. What is this? What do we need from here? We need a, a small foundry. I don't want a foundry. I was hoping we could do everything out of wood. Let me let me let me see if I can make it so we can just use wood or something. Let's go back to the plan here. Uh, may, maybe I just need to choose something else. Hold on. Let's let's choose something else. No no no. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Let's go back here. I ruined everything. I want to choose a different kind of thing. I don't want to. I don't want to use metal, if at all possible. Can I choose something else? I was like, I feel like there's a there's a way to click things so it does it. I feel like there is. Shelf support. Assembly. Oh, man. I, I know there's a different way to do this. Right-clicking it is not giving me what I want. Oh, there there we go. Can I can I do this? Yeah, wood. Let's do wood. We, we upgrade it. It's not where we want it now, but we can get better things, hopefully. Maybe. Can we, can we do better things here? Straight cut it. That's all we got. What about you? Wood rod. Oh god, we're not we're not making good choices here. We're we're a little bit short. Uh not by a horrible maybe by a horrible amount. Alright, let's see if we can make up for it here. We uh we cannot apparently. What's the best we can do here? Best we could do is that. We can't do anything there. Can I do anything there? Alright, right now we're only at five through six. So we're a little bit behind on this. We're way overboard on the style. Can is there anything else we I really don't want to do a metal thing if I could help it at all because uh, I don't want to have to build a foundry man that's like a lot of stuff 
all we need is a little bit more durability and I just there's just nothing nothing else I can shove out here we're just not there all right well that's that's disappointing because I really wanted to make this I thought we could make it I'm not I'm gonna abandon this for now we're not gonna make that is there anything else I can make like a square table maybe this one the demand is going up price is down we can make a couple of them this one is actually a little bit better yeah, let's do this one uh, i don't care about the demand i'm not going to make that many of them and we were having lots no problem making style points let's do that uh, let me see here we're already at the minimum where we are now three through 14 is kind of crazy i think we can actually go a little cheaper if we wanted to can we can we go cheaper this is one through three uh, 18 that's as cheap as we can go apparently and uh I, I guess we'll hook this on up we don't have a billboard for that one so we'll just do it like that and you have to go here as well that's fine uh wooden board blah 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 what do we do here operation not set we'll choose whatever this is two to three sounds good raw wood i guess we have to choose this one right here five to eleven so we're a little bit over what we need to be right now that's okay and what do we do here jigsaw cut we're just going to link everything up to here apparently this workshop is going to be busy it's going to be busy 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 we're going to set this one up to the billboard which is going to share it between those two things and is that all the operations nope this has to go here we're going we're to overwork this one little area that's for sure yeah this one everything's getting done there we should probably have another workstation if i'm being honest all right, hold on. Let's let's. Uh, I'm gonna wait a minute. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna build one more workstation. We're gonna build board them, and then we at least split that up a little bit. That's a lot of work, getting done in one place. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll get another workstation here. Uh, we're woodworking. Actually, what is this one? It's called woodworking station. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm going to the right thing here. All right, where are we gonna put this? I think we'll just put it back to back with this one right here. Does that leave room for the other thing? It does actually, just barely enough. And I'll, I'll put a, uh, let's go ahead and order this before we forget. And I'll put a billboard actually right between them before I forget. We'll play it out in slow-mo. Uh, I say slow-mo, but it's actually one time speed. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to connect both of these to a billboard as soon as they are installed. Hopefully. Hopefully they get done too uh, quick. We're going to double time it. Hopefully we're doing okay. We're still doing our ducky order. The ducky order is going fine. Uh, they're, like I said, they're using two totally separate things from what we're using here, so we should be good. We can order more plants, actually. Can we do that? Make people happy with all these different plants? I'll choose... what now. I want to choose a different plant. I didn't want that plant. A carny plant. Yeah, we, we need a carny plant, apparently. Let's do that. That should offset the cost of putting this thing in there, making a little bit less upset about it. Let me actually order it before I forget again. I keep forgetting to actually order things, which is quite, quite frustrating, truthfully. All right, there we go. We got the billboard in. Let me put it down to regular speed real quick. I want to connect you to you and connect it to you. Okay, so now we can go back to our other order that we already had set up, which is over here, this one right here, and anywhere where it connects to a table, I want it to now connect to the billboard. So you go there, you go there, you go here as well. We're just going to billboard it everywhere. And this is another operation. This needs to go here. It was, it was already connected to there. And there we go. And we can say how many of these we want. I think there was a demand for up to like 40 of them. Let's just go like 15 or something. We don't have to go that crazy. I don't know. Like I don't want to bankrupt us like trying to make all these weird things. We'll see how that goes. And let's speed it up. Let's get these things done. Truck loaded. Uh, truck uh, arrived at the loading bay. They're going to unload and load this stuff. We got all sorts of stuff in. It's a little dangerous uh, walking hazard over here now. I should probably do something about that soon. When I get a new zone thing, I'll definitely do something about it. Right now, the uh, ducks are acting as the priority, but I think they can actually actively do both at the same time. We have enough workers to work at both things, and uh, yeah, we're, we're using totally different machines, so I think for the most part it's still fine. Let's let's see what we're doing here. Uh, Ferb's rankings? I don't know what Ferb's rankings is. Let me sell this real quick. Let's go ahead and deliver these. Uh, it looks like they're still doing okay. The demand is still high for them. Let's go ahead and deliver that. Whoever wants that is going to get it, apparently. Let me close these things here. we got lots of EXP, which is good. All right, what did I say I was going to look at these Ferb's rankings? What is this? Impasa Factory. So we're number 20 on the rankings of awesome factories, apparently. 
with a net worth of uh, almost 50 grand. That's something, I guess. That's a... Uh... Yeah, alright. Break rooms? Can I set the break room now? Are we out of break room break roominess? I don't know why this thing is getting angry. Should we add more break roominess? Uh, maybe? Uh, we don't have a cooldown 4K, whatever that thing is. It looks like a refrigerator to me, if I'm being honest. Uh, what else? Break room stuff. We have, we have a TV, don't we? Yeah, we do have a TV. Okay, we have a cooldown television. A game, con game consoles are expensive. We're going to do something cheaper than that. We're going to give them a radio. You guys can chill out with the radio. Yeah, that's how old school we're going. Let's go ahead and order this stuff. Hopefully they'll be happy with that. Let's go up to three times speed again. We're going to get this next one uh, up on priority. Uh, truck is in route. They did that. We're working on the square table stuff now. I think everyone could still work on this, so I'm still fine with it. This guy just collapsed in the middle of the floor for no reason. I'm guessing his his uh, you know exhaustion just got too high, unfortunately. Poor guy. I had, I had break rooms right there, bud, because just like sat down and had a coffee or something. You know, if you're that run down. How are these things doing? Are they need to be fixed? No, this, this one still seems okay. What's this one looking like? This one's mostly okay, too. I'll, uh, I'll clean that up in a little bit. Do these things take damage? They don't seem to. What about these? How are they doing? These things are still pretty good, too. Yeah, we don't have to worry about fixing any of those things. These ones are a little bit low, but I think we're okay. These square tables? I feel like they're taking forever. We may never get these square tables done. I don't know. They're, they're, they're taking a while. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sit here for a minute. Uh, we're going to get through the square tables thing. I think even with three times speed, it might take too long. I don't want to make you guys sit through that. So uh, I'll come back here in a minute, and we'll see what we're where we're at after these tables are done. Actually, I lied. We're back, and I decided we have guys doing nothing over here. We have the injection molding machine and, and the painter available. We can make more ducks or something. At least make our other guys still be useful doing things. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the market here. Uh, I don't know why I'm in planning mode. Let's get out of that. I don't want to be in planning mode. I want to be in the market. Uh, we can make more ducks. It's Their ducks are still seem to be doing good. Uh, price 140, price 144. These are the same exact ducks, but these ducks are worth more, apparently. And I wonder, oh, this one's actually... These are worth more, and they're, they're going up. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's plan these products. Uh, we already have everything for this. Uh, they just need a little bit higher uh, requirements and you know what we can we're already meeting them uh this is a yellow duck we're definitely going to go yellow let's uh hook this up to the injection molder let's go over here can we do something with this rubber duck unpainted yeah, that's fine let's go ahead and head over to the painter here can we change what color it is or anything apparently not all right let's make sure it's connected there we go and that's it we can make rubber ducks i don't remember what the demand was let's check the market real quick uh 45 units i don't think i'm going to make that many I don't know if I can keep up with that many, and I feel like we're a little bit low on money. I don't want to go too crazy. Let's make 20 rubber duckies, and we'll see how that goes. All right, we're, we're going again. Hopefully, we'll be okay. We're, uh, we're still plugging away at these square tables, which might take a long while. But at least we have these other guys who weren't doing anything, at least working on a side project, which makes me happy. And uh, do we have any more milestones? I mean, not milestones, sorry. Do we? Uh-oh, something happened. Oh, no. Uh, fix it. Yeah, definitely fix that. We don't need things breaking like this one's over here looks dangerous too. Let's fix that one too. Let's uh, have everyone fix things that look like they're going to explode. That looks a little dangerous here. Uh, repair to raise its operation. I'll leave that one for now. These ones need to be fixed the most, so I'll, I'll leave those on the on the fixing docket for now. All right, we're this this poor guy looks like he's going to fall over dead soon. Do we need more coffee room stuff? Are we out of coffee room -ness? We still have two break room uses, apparently. So you should really go over there if you're feeling that run down, buddy. Like, it's on fire and stuff, like, legitimately. I don't think anyone should be standing over there. Let's let's see if we can up, upgrade our uh, foosball coffee break room a little bit. A machine exploded? It exploded? I said to fix it. Like, why didn't you fix it? Don't let it explode. Now people can't even work on it. Can't fix it. Priority five. Fix the stupid thing. All right, let's go over here. I'm going to add a little bit more to their break room here. Uh, they obviously need something. We need something to make them a little bit happier here. I think the only thing we have left that we haven't really done is like a chessboard or something. Foosball table. It's, they're the same 
cost either way. I think I'm just going to throw a chessboard in here. They could sit over here by the uh, the refrigerator. There we go. Order that. Hopefully they get this thing fixed soon. We'll go up to 3x speed here. We need we need help on that. This thing this thing got broke so bad. I don't even understand how. It's just nuts. Did they get this one fixed yet? This one seemed like it took a lot less fixing. I had them both queued to be fixed, so I don't know why it was such an issue there. Anyway, let's let's put this priority back down to three. There we go. So they're both same priority. You know, you know what they say. You make everything high priority, nothing's high priority. So I, I try to be careful doing stuff like that. Anyway, we got all our things queued up. All our little happy little guys are running around making stuff. And uh, we got two jobs going. They're both getting done at the same time. Apparently, making tables is a lot slower than making ducks. Um, I guess this is how it goes. Isn't there a saying? Uh, it takes three times the time to make a duck than a table. That totally sounds like a, a saying to me. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip forward a little bit. We'll get this done, and we'll see where we're at after that. So I'll see you guys in a few. Apparently, we got an achievement. So hooray for that. All right, our duckies are ready. We can send our duckies out to market. Our tables are still taking forever. Hopefully, this gets done soon. Are we, I, don't, I should see how much money we're going to make off of this. Or how much money we're going to lose off of this. I don't even know. I guess we'll find out momentarily. Let's get this window here closed. Uh, we have to repair this thing again before all hell breaks loose. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to go into there. Let's go into this one. Let's repair both of these. These both need help. Let's go ahead and do that. Before they explode again, preferably. We might need more coffee. It seems like we're always low on coffee here. Uh, we have two idle workstations, which are these right here. But uh, I think we're... Well, until just recently, we were still maxing out on what our workers could do. So I was fine with it. Let's go ahead and uh, get these out to market. Let's see how our duckies do. Do we make lots of money on duckies? Uh, let me see. Let's see. Economy statistics. Oh, God. We're, we're, we're losing money, apparently. I'm I'm a bad leader of men. Uh, what are we where are we at here? New inventory, payments received. How are we at negative stuff then? Our estimated sum, payments received, operation efficiency. So my operation efficiency is garbage apparently. There was it says we're losing money overall, which is uh, no bueno, no bueno at all. Let's get out of there. It's depressing. Anyway, right, guys, uh, we bought a lot of things for this, and it still hasn't panned out yet. I think that is what the problem is. I think, basically, we, we've spent money on all these materials and all the work time, but we haven't gotten the money out of it yet. I think once we sell these, we'll be back in the black, at least hope for, uh, hope for hopefully that we will, anyway. Uh, anyway, guys, we're going to end this one here. This one is called Little Big Workshop. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Actually, let's go ahead and save it real quick. Well, can we just call it Save episode one there we go save it it is official let's go back to the uh main menu here yeah we that way we have a nice little title screen here in the background uh, like i said this game is called little big workshop i'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself it's a cute little you know factory building automation game i hope you guys are into that stuff that is what i tend to do on this channel so for here hopefully you like that kind of stuff and speaking of you know being here and liking this kind of stuff i do this kind of stuff every day i get a new video at least one every single day i do like base building automation type games i do uh tower defense games and i also like vehicle engineering games i tend to do that we've been playing uh world of contraptions lately and also we do trail makers and siege and all that kind of awesome stuff so if that's the kind of stuff that you're into once you consider hitting that subscribe button uh maybe click that bell icon so you want to put out new content smash that like button leave a comment down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye